it's a Netgear Range Max um, DG834N and I've decided to whip the lid off good have a look inside uh, not too impressed I don't know if you can see that but there's lots of solder splashes let's try and get in the, in the light some solder splashes right there dry joints all over look at this it's just practically pull it off my fingers and here there are two caps that look as if they're bulging so I'm going to whip those out and have a measure um, the DC input jack there looks like it's been through a, a dive into a flow solder bath it's all covered in flux it's a bit untidy. Anyhow, I whipped the lid off really because I wanted to do power it up with the lid off just to check how hot these chips get because a lot of routers and things like that these days just absolutely cook the chips to just stupid temperatures. I mean, 80 degrees might not be a lot to, to slice of silicon, but no, I don't like it. It starts to turn the boards black after a time. Sit there baking away. So... If there's any sort of warmth in there, I'm going to stick some heat sinks on. But look, splashes all over. Can you see that there? It's just absolutely terrible. Anyhow, take the board out. Okay, backs off. Doesn't look too bad under here. Uh, these are the two Wi Fi antennas. And coupled to the board there. Now what's interesting is there's another socket in the middle. I'm not sure if, what that one is. Somebody might know. But uh, obviously there's, there's the two there. And the, but there's, say, that one in the middle. I'm not sure. Anyhow, the caps that I want to remove are uh, one there and one there. So I'll just get my soldering out, soldering iron out, and get those out. One down. That's meant to be 100 microfarad at 16 volt. Let's see the one. So get the other one out. So that one. 100 microfarad, 25 volt. Let's get them on the meter and have a look. Oh, I've got them out, let's have a look then. That's reading 1.68 microfarads. It's supposed to be 100. Just double check, make sure I haven't got any bad connections. Back on again. Yeah, 1.78, 1.68, 1.78. Let's try the other one. One microfarad, let's try it the other way around. One 
1.1 microfarad. Yeah, they're no good. They've hosed. It's supposed to be. This is a 100 microfarad cap, brand new one. And that's reading 99.4 microfarad, so it's pretty close to 100. So they're definitely dead. So I didn't even take that uh, router apart to change the caps. I just took it apart to have a look inside and take on the temperature of the ICs. So <laughs> how many devices get pinned these days because it's got 40 caps? So dig some new ones out of here. Pop them in. We'll have a closer look at some of the other caps, but these ones are made by somebody called Tipo. They're both Tipo. But, um, if we take a look at the router, I don't see any other Tipo caps in there. I don't think. The other ones don't look certainly don't look as if they've got anything strange going on. So I'll just um, I'll just change those two, put them back in. Okay, the caps are in. Tidied it up a little bit more. I've removed some of the excess flux residue that was splattered all over the board. So, the underside's not too bad, it's quite tidy. So, stick it back together and um, go on with the first reason why I took it apart, and that was to uh, just check on the temperature really of these chips. It's just going to be the Broadcom chip there and the Ethernet controller so it's going to generate any massive amounts of heat. I've got some flash memory there and some RAM there. There's two switching regulators, probably. Um, Probably doing three, probably doing uh, three point three volts and um, five volts. It's a, it's a twelve volts in. Right, it's getting powered up. See how warm it gets. Well, I've got the thermometer balancing on the uh, main Broadcom. Uh, DSP ADSL driver chip and uh, that's been on there now for about an hour nothing, nothing else plugged in to the uh, to the router it's just uh, just the DC DC in and uh, the thermometer is just lying on the top there's no thermal compound for a, for a good thermal contact but Sat there, if you can see that, that's about 52 degrees C. Now, bear in mind the lid's off so with a bit of convection, that chip's going to be cooler than if it was you know, all sealed up in the box. So maybe with the lid on, on a nice hot day, that, that chip's going to be sat there at 70 degrees C. I don't personally like it. I mean, other people may argue and say it's going to be absolutely fine, but I prefer to have a heat sink on it and just have it sat there, you know, no more than 30 degrees. So I'll just 
put a little heat sink on it and seal it up and that'll be job done.